Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Miss K Chris and today we're going to answer one of the questions that you have requested on my previous video. Which is, your request is, how do you answer the question, how do you deal with angry passengers? Before we get on and answer this question, make sure that you are subscribed on this channel and you follow me on my social media at Miss K Chris in FB and Instagram so that you could catch me whenever I go live and I answer your questions live on this channel. This question is to assess your knowledge in customer service, which is basically just um, dealing, uh, caring for, and doing customer recovery for angry passengers, especially in the flight attendant industry. So in my training as a flight attendant, I've learned this technique and as well as applied it myself. That's why I'm able to tell you guys that this is the way to deal with angry passengers. So there is a three-step process that they taught us and I have practiced. So the first, and step, uh, the first step on this process is called uh, listening. You have to listen to the passenger. You have to let them vent out what they are feeling and not try to interrupt what they are saying because if you do that, they will feel so much better and lighter after holding on to that anger <laughs> and you know feelings that they have inside. So let them vent out. You just nod and listen. You have to take note that you have to maintain eye contact and actually do listen don't just space out so that you will be able to answer their concerns one by one after they have said everything that they have to say okay the step number two of the customer recovery process is actually solving their problem <laughs> or telling them what you can do about their problem okay so after they have vented out all their complaints to you all their anger and all of those things they will be much more rational and uh, in a state of mind where they could listen to you. So this time when they are listening to you, do solve their problem very quickly. If it is a blanket, say, thank you for letting me know. I'll go ahead and get the blanket for you now. Or if it is something that you cannot do or something that there's nothing that you can do about it just focus on the things that you can do so what you can say is i'm sorry for example i'm sorry i am not able to control the situation of the delay however this is what i can do for you i can make sure that you have a comfortable flight so in any case that you would need anything on this flight to let me know or i could give you a customer feedback if you would really like to uh, submit a complaint for the company and i will personally make sure it goes through the company or just focus on the things that you can do for him at that moment and you could if there is really absolutely nothing that you can do you could thank him for bringing this to your attention and then you will take note of it on your report and personally make sure that the administration is aware of this issue and uh, thank you for your contribution and letting us know about this problem. Okay, the last but most important tip or the cherry on top that you can do on this situation is do an extra service. So for example, the customer is already angry and tired and, and there's nothing else that you can do. Just give them something extra, something that they have not asked for. Maybe you have an extra cupcake in your kitchen or in your galley. Go give it to them. Compliments of the airline. Thank you for being so patient with us. Something like that. Or you could give them something like, is there anything else I can do to you? Can I give you some selection of our finest wines on board? And then something like that so something that they have not specifically asked but something that is an extra in your way just to show them that you are giving an effort and you are appreciating them for taking patience in the company okay so that is my three-step way process i also cannot take credit for that because i learned that from being a flight attendant so all of my <laughs> our company have told me have taught me how to do that but that's basically how you would uh, deal with an angry passenger. So the way that I will say this answer in an interview is this way. How do you deal with an angry passenger? So this is how I will deal with an angry passenger. I will deal with them in three steps. First of all, I will like let them 
vent out whatever it is the issue or the problem that they are experiencing and i will listen to them uh, using active listening cues like nodding my head taking note of the problem and the next thing that i would do is i will make sure that i solve it and i solve it quickly as quickly as, as i can given the any given the circumstance that the passenger is presenting me and the third thing that i could do is thank them for their time for trying to point it out to me and give them something extra maybe i have an extra drink an extra snack uh, i could offer it to them compliments of the airline make sure that you check out my free uh, 10 sample answers on the free pdf i have i will link the link below on how to get that free pdf or cabin crew interview tutorial that i have done uh, it's proven to be very effective because i've been getting a lot of dms from you guys that you are now flight attendants and you are now flying and of course it's kudos to you congrats for everybody who has sent me their dms but yeah make sure that you check that out because it helped a lot of people already and if you want more in-depth tutorial on or in-depth um código Codigo or cheat sheet on how I was able to pass my flight, my personal flight attendant interview um, in the span of eight years, or how I was able to overcome that hurdle for me because it was so difficult for me to pass it before. So I wrote a book about it. It's called it's it's actually a step-by-step -step process on how i was able to be successful in becoming a flight attendant and this book right here is called ready for takeoff and you can order it on shopee amazon or even on my website as an ebook our next week's video wherein i'm going to share with you my cabin crew story and how i was able to overcome my insecurities when i was applying as a flight attendant so i hope to see you guys on the next video thanks so much always and I'll fly with you soon Bye!